Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the new toolbar icons that Google has been testing in preview um, in the desktop browser, which we have been talking about um, over the last couple of months. And just a quick recap in case you missed some of those videos. Um, very similar to what we get in Microsoft Edge, where you can uh, pin and unpin buttons here to the toolbar, giving you little quick sh quick access shortcut buttons for components and features um, that are normally quite deep, buried quite deep in the actual browser settings. And you've got your three different um, sections, navigation, your Chrome, tools and actions, and you can also rearrange these by uh, dragging and dropping them. Um, so you get the general idea. Now, back in September, around about the middle of September this year, when Google rolled out Chrome version 129, which back then was the latest stable version, I let you know that they started introducing the new toolbar customization feature, or the icons, which um, was not rolling out as a default feature, but was hidden behind an experimental flag. And just to let you know now that I have noticed over the last day or so in my region, if we head over to the stable version of Google Chrome, which is currently sitting on version 130, soon to be upgraded uh, next week to 131, that I have noticed now that by default, if we head to our customized Chrome in the bottom right hand corner, the new toolbar icons and the new toolbar section for customizing um, the browser has now made its way into the stable version and is becoming more widely available. Now, this seems to be a server-side update and a controlled rollout because I've only seen it on my Windows 10 device in Chrome Stable and not my Windows 11. And uh, if, if you are not seeing this yet, um, then I will leave the video I posted for Chrome 129 on how you can actually enable this feature with an experimental flag until it becomes available in your region um, by default. But please let me know in the comments if you are seeing this or not. I'd like to see how wide this rollout is. Now, just another quick recap. As mentioned, you can pop any of these buttons on. Here we go. Um, as mentioned, you can rearrange. Uh, you've got access to different things like addresses and more. You've got your payment methods. Uh, you get the general idea, your reading list. So you've got a whole lot of different options um, when it comes to the actual um, toolbar icons. And then if we head back, you can click on reset to default, which pops everything back to default. Um, I have noticed though with uh, um, reset to default that the forward button, um, which is this little button here, um, stays on by default even though you um, have, have set it to re, uh, reset to default because that is a default option and what happens if you toggle that off that forward button will only appear if you have a web page to go forward to else it will just be hidden i like to keep it um, on the default option and something else to take note of if we just show you a couple of different things here um, you can also remove um, a certain button from the toolbar by just clicking on unpin and then something else you can try is you don't have to actually click on customize chrome if you want to get there quicker you can just right click on any of these customize toolbar and there we go we're back to normal so just putting it out there and um, i think this is a nice um, move by google i think this just helps customize in the browser making those options a lot better and a, and a lot quicker to access and i'm always in favor of um you know options where we can customize browsers and operating systems to our own personal choice and preference. But there you go. Just a quick recap because we have covered this quite in detail on the channel. The new um, toolbar customization feature is now making its way um, as a default uh, feature um, into the stable version of Google Chrome using a controlled server side update and it seems to be coming more widely available now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.